I'm going to talk a little bit about making cold brew now. It's quite a different style of making coffee and can have quite a dramatic effect on the flavours in your cup, especially if you compare the cold brew coffee to the same coffee brewed hot. One of the things that you're playing with is your brew time. You can go from 6 hours to 12 hours, or sometimes even 24, depending on the coffee that you're using and the flavours that you like. This is an actual cold brewer. You can also brew in something like a cafetiere if you wanted to, although with this one it has a slightly finer filter and you'll find you'll get better results that way. So I'll pour in 45 grams of coffee. I then just put this part in the middle and I'm just adding cold water through the top. I still need to make sure that all the grounds inside the coffee are soaked, although because it's going to be immersed and sat for a long time, this perhaps isn't as important as it is when you're brewing hot. Once the water is poured, that's all you really need to do. You can set it aside for brewing, and if this is your first time brewing, then I suggest go back every few hours and see how it's tasting and see exactly where it is that you like it. One of the great things for cold brew coffee is in the summer, if perhaps you don't want something hot but you still need that caffeine hit or want that coffee taste. Served chilled or over ice, it can be fantastic. Another great use is to updose. So increase the dose to make double strength or even more on your coffee and use it as a concentrate. Perhaps you're having a dinner party and you've got a group of people around and you want to serve a larger volume of coffee. Just take some boiling water and add it to the double strength liquid and dilute it to taste. Or perhaps you prefer it even stronger and then you can use milk to make a quick and easy latte or something like that. So that's a little wrap up of cold brew coffee. It's a very interesting area to play with and there's a lot of experimentation you can have. So I'd really encourage you to go out and have fun. For more hints and tips on making coffee, subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks very much for watching.